It was a crime spree that spanned Chicago to Kenosha County, Wisconsin. Tonight, we're learning more about the man who is the focus of a double murder and shooting of a police canine. CBS 2's Asal Razai live in Logan Square, where it all began. Asal. Brad, I'm at the bus stop where a man was shot and killed in a crime spree that ended over 50 miles away with the suspect in custody in Wisconsin. The community here is still on high alert. Kenosha County Sheriff's deputies arrested this man, 33-year-old Alan Brown from Countryside, is a suspect connected to two murders in Logan Square. We've learned Brown is not only a convicted felon, but has a long criminal history. In 2009, he pleaded guilty and was sentenced to four years in prison for aggravated battery of an officer. In 2008, Brown was sentenced to two years in prison after pleading guilty for aggravated battery. We've also learned between 2005 and August of this year, he's been arrested several times for drug possession, battery, aggravated assault, and resisting a police officer, but all those charges were dropped. The crime spree started Thursday and ended at a gas station in Bristol, Wisconsin, 10 hours later. The Kenosha County Sheriff's Office says Chicago police tipped them off to a stolen car in the parking lot. When police got there, they say Brown ran and moments later shot a canine named Riggs that was chasing him. Police then shot Brown, wounding him. Police focusing in on this brown Buick that belonged to 41-year-old Miguel Padilla of Chicago. Padilla was shot and killed in a carjacking here on Keystone Avenue. Chicago police are linking the carjacker to the murder of a 25-year-old man at a bus stop nearby at Pulaski and Fullerton just minutes before. At least two other unrelated shootings happened Wednesday, all in Logan Square. That's why Chicago police are now adding more patrols to the neighborhood. 30 people have been shot in the area so far this year. That's compared to 20 shootings this time last year. K-9 Riggs was shot in the head and taken to an emergency vet hospital in Buffalo Grove. We're told he's expected to recover. As for Brown, still no charges. He is in the hospital. Brad. Yes, Al, thank you.